Legacy Systems In computing, a legacy system is an old method, technology, computer system or application program of relating to or being a previous or outdated computer system. Often a pejorative term referencing a system as legacy means that it paved the way for the standards that would follow it. This can also imply that the system is out of date or in need of replacement. While this term may indicate that some engineers may feel that a system is out of date, a legacy system may continue to be used for a variety of reasons. It may simply be that the system still provides for the user's needs. In addition, the decision to keep an old system may be influenced by economic reasons, such as return on investment challenges or vendor lock-in, the inherent challenges of change management, or a variety of other reasons other than functionality. Backward compatibility, such as the ability of newer systems to handle legacy file formats and character encodings, is a goal that software developers often include in their work. Even if it is no longer used, a legacy system may continue to impact the organisation due to its historic role. Historic data may not have been converted into the new system format and may exist within the new system with the use of a customised schema crosswalk or may exist only in a data warehouse. In either case, the effect on business intelligence and operational reporting can be significant. A legacy system may include procedures or terminology which are no longer relevant in the current context and may hinder and confuse understanding of the methods or technologies used. Organisations can have compelling reasons for keeping a legacy system, such as the system works satisfactorily and the owner sees no reason to change it. The costs of redesigning or replacing the system are prohibitive because it is large, monolithic and or complex. Retraining on a new system would be costly in lost time and money compared to the anticipated appreciable benefits of replacing it, which may be zero. The system requires near constant availability, so it cannot be taken out of service. And the cost of designing a new system with a similar availability level is high. Examples include systems to handle customers' accounts in banks, computer reservation systems, air traffic control, energy distribution, nuclear power plants, and military defence installations. Such a situation can occur when the designers of a system have left the organisation and the system has either not been fully documented or documentation has been lost. The way that the system works is not well understood. The user expects that the system can easily be replaced when this becomes necessary. Newer systems perform undesirably, especially for individual or non-institutional users. Secondary functions such as tracking and reporting of user activities and or automatic updating that creates backdoor security vulnerabilities and leaves end users dependent on the good faith and honesty of the vendor providing the updates. This problem is especially acute when these secondary functions of a newer system cannot be disabled.